All right, I'm finally ready to level to 12. I spent quite a bit more time on 11, mainly because I was running also on hardcore, and that slowed down my progress a little bit. 12 is probably the most exciting level up uh, until we get to 20. We get a feat, we get a uh, stat increase, and we get a our access to our tier five enhancements in Paladin. So I am going to take strength, of course, and let's see, I'm gonna stick with the plan of two points to disable, two points to search, and a point to spot. And now I have a choice between greater two-handed fighting, we, we meet the requirements for both at level 12, or improve critical. Uh, I think improved critical is probably a little bit better since we're not using a weapon that has uh, a weapon that has keen on it. Although the advantage of greater two-handed fighting is we get the benefit for both quarterstaff and greatsword. So when we have to uh, switch to a quarterstaff for whatever reason, we get those benefits. So it's it's tough either way. I think I'm gonna just going to go with the improved critical. I usually take that before. The greater fighting feat. Uh, although I really had a debate on this point, this one because you know it's a pretty significant uh, DPS boost to go with greater two-handed fighting too. All right. So looking at our enhancement tree, uh, we definitely want to spend four points here. But um, so let me just go ahead and do that first. So I pretty much set on Ascendancy, which is plus two attack and damage with all weapons, an additional plus two in attack with the favored weapons, and 15% fort bypass. Uh, and then plus, whenever we attack an evil outsider, we get the basically a stack of melee power. So this is a very nice ability. This is only one point. And uh, basically, the Century Demons also works for all Chaotic and Evil Outsiders. Um, not huge at this level, but I think the 10 melee power is still pretty good. Uh, and then lastly, uh, this is probably the best cleave at heroic levels, for sure. Uh, and uh, it's it has a long cooldown, 30 seconds, but just having that sort of really big... Um, big burst damage for Reapers, although the proc doesn't apply, and, and for Champions is a huge, huge, huge benefit. So, those I want to take for sure. Uh, the other, other th one, the other two things that are in here I also would like to take, which is Vigor of Life. If we compare this to this, this is two points in giving us 20 healing amp. This is two points in giving us 30 healing amp plus negative 30 negative healing amp. And the negative 30 healing amp is very confusing. But what it basically means is if we take negative damage, we take less. Uh, 30, you know, and then this stacks with this. So we'll get, be taking 60% less negative damage. So why not take two points out of here and put it here? That's a no-brainer. So I'm going to reset this tree for 120 plat. I'm going to continue to take the skill boosts. We'd really miss, you know, we've used this quite a bit for many things. And then I'm going to take this. And so now the question is, do we take this melee cleave for two points? And, you know, to do so, we'd have to take points out of here. Uh, and so probably the save bonus. So we would take, you know, we get plus one save bonus instead of plus two. Uh, you know, I hate to give up the defense. But, you know, we could always change it if it turns out not to be a problem. And we'll get that right back next level. Next level, my inclination would be to put two points here and two points back here. So I'm going to reset this tree for 1320. And uh, I'm going to take the same thing I took before, the PRR MRR boost. Extra lay on hands. And and the uh, the bonus, and then we have. Uh, I guess I took even extra lay on hand. So let me. So we could split the difference, and we have two points. So I want to definitely take this cleave. 
So now, you know, basically we're trading a tier one and two, two one or two ability for a tier five ability. That's a pretty good trade off. And if we want to split the difference and say it's pretty rare when I use all my lay on hands, but usually when I do, I'm in trouble. But still, I'm going to just temporarily give up one lay on hands and one save to get that cleave. And as they say, uh, the best defense is a good offense, and and sometimes the best defense is a good defense, but sometimes the best you know, a good offense does actually help sur with survivability. So uh, I think one save and one lay on hands is a pretty good trade-off. You know, we always have the option to reset, although resets here are a little more expensive. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, and now we have to make sure that we, for enhancements, let's set up our hot bars. So let me close this. Let me uh, unlock my hot bars. Uh, and this is kind of bothering me. This one's a little bit off, so I'm just going to slowly move this one up. Move this one over a little. All right. And sacred defense, we have to re-add because we temporarily reset it. Uh, I'm going to move these over. I'm going to move the cleaves over here. And I'm going to put the avenging cleave, which is the big quick one, and the exalted cleave up here. I'm going to put the holy retribution cleave down here. I'll put trip because I think I'm going to use those more. Trip is sort of... It's not totally ineffective, and I'll put the Exalted up here, but I think I'd rather run these than the, the Smite Evil. We haven't invested much in Smite Evil. I'm going to keep this, move my boosts over here, and I'll keep um, this on and, you know, uh, turn on dead. We haven't really had much luck with it, so I haven't really invested much into it. But let's go ahead and, and keep that there. So we should, Divine Might didn't change, so that's fine. We've added this. We've this didn't change. That's fine. So we've added everything to our hot bars. Uh, also, uh, if you didn't see the video where I added it, I got negative leveled a couple times, and so uh, got a little more serious about using my visor of the flesh renders. Plus, I earned a second one in the third Tangaroo run. The third Tangaroo run gives you all the options, so it was a guaranteed drop. So now I have 14 minutes of Death Ward clickies, and I'm pretty much using those as part of my buff process at the beginning of the uh, quest. Let me turn my Sacred Defense back on. So I think, especially these two cleaves, I mean, you know, we're going to be, we've got 10 more melee power, we've got an additional plus four attack and damage, and then uh, against some enemies, although we take them down quick enough, it probably, we probably won't notice it, but against bosses, we'll get stacking melee power. So we should see a pretty big improvement in our, our DPS. This was a big power boost level, pro probably the biggest one we've had since level six. And the next big one we'll see, uh, I mean, 15 is a pretty good level too, because we'll get the extra uh, greater two weapon fighting. And at that point, we're pretty solid in terms of feats. And so, uh, you know, I, th I think we're, you know, I think we're there. And so uh, I'd like to get, I'd really like to get the, survivability and self-sufficiency and healing up and I think the way to do that is probably to start working my way up human the human tree uh, as opposed to sacred defender we're sort of limited on what we could do with sacred defender because we're in light armor with no shield and so the tier two or tier three plus benefits uh, gives you more hit points but it requires either medium heavy armor or wielding a shield so the only way you could do that with light armor is sort of as a swash uh, probably as a swashbuckler, but um, you can't be a swashbuckler and have paladin levels. So you could do that as with the fighter equivalent tree, but you can't do that with the paladin tree. So uh, we'll move up the human tree, and in fact, I may think about you know depending on how things are, I may think about taking some points out of here and putting them to the human tree to get to our healing amp faster. So we've just increased our healing amp a little by 10. Next level, we'll increase it by 20, and then we've got a ways to go before we can get to this next tier because it's going to take 10 points in this tree, and we'll have only three in next time. But I think we're going to be set up good uh, when we get to level 20 for self-healing because at that point, we'll probably add uh, one, uh, two more points to this tree only, so we'll be at 40. Uh, we can't take the capstone, but we will we'll take both of these. So that will be 40, which would leave 40 points. We have nine here, so that's 49. 
So that'll leave 21 points here, which would pretty much get us up to, so the requirement here is 15, so that's 17, and that's 19. So we'll be able to pretty much, we're going to stack this human tree. There's a lot of good things there. Um, I still, I'm still liking the magical training, uh, especially when we get to epic levels. We could boost that, that echoes of power to be higher than it is right now. Right now, the echoes of power is, I believe, 12. So it's not even enough for this spell, but it's enough for two of these, Cure Light Wounds. Um, you know, but our Cure Light Wounds is just, it's too little for reaper when we get to level 14 uh, that's going to be another pretty significant level for us at level 14 we'll get cure moderate which should be much better than cure light cure lights already capped out uh, cure moderate will you know we'll, we'll do better healing plus it will not it'll cap caps at a higher level uh, and then we'll also get the next tier core in knights of the chalice at 14 uh, which which will make us immune to energy drain. Uh, so so uh, 13 is sort of an insignificant level for us. We just put probably put two points to the healing amp, two points back to the save, or we just start go, you know building up in human. Uh, but we have a ways to go to that next healing amp, so I'm inclined to get our saves back, get our lay on hands back to where it was. Uh, by by investing two here and two in human and then just working our way up the human tree uh, You know probably after this we'll probably look at maybe a, a stat increase and then a uh, Another power boost so uh, we can have this power boost From Knights of the Chalice and this one from human which is a little weaker. It's only 20 instead of 30, but that'll give us 12 total uses instead of six and I've been pretty careful about using it up to now um, Trying to use it just for Reapers and big fights and a lot of times I'll end up with three four left at the end of the quest and Once we have that one, I'll be able to kind of liberally use the 20 and then save up the 30 for the big fights. So uh, So yeah, so next level not too much going on level 14 is a big level because we get uh, it's our 12th level of Paladin so we get a, a spell and then a another core and then level 15 is big because we get a, another uh well we get two things we get a feat and we get uh a, a big feat uh well that's that's the main thing we get that big feat so that's it i've already restocked all of the uh consumables i didn't think that'd be very interesting to spend time on that i'll take a quick look at the auction house and we'll just see uh auction house is Options are probably going to be limited now. We have a pretty good weapon. It's unlikely we'll find a better weapon in the auction house than what we have for at least a few levels. But I suspect all the way to 20. Uh, and also we're going to be doing Ravenloft soon. And and uh, you know I'm sort of toying with the idea of running Ravenloft normal and hard next level instead of instead of the following level to uh, to get some potential items. But if we kind of look at where we are now, uh, the only place where we don't have named items, and I don't think I don't think we can upgrade and improve the, these f until we get to Ravenloft, is gloves. We have strength five, deadly three, level nine, so that's pretty good still. But if we can get six and four or six and five, I mean that's probably possible. Although we'd have to get a little little bit lucky. So let me just see what's available from ten. I'd say ten to twelve. Uh, I'll say 9 to 12 because it's possible there could be a masterful craftsmanship gloves that are better Not too much um, And also I think as we get up in levels There's just people just don't post stuff as much on the auction house So like you've no you probably noticed that our options are more limited and plus there's a lot of people on hardcore so uh, Doing nothing but hardcore so there's probably a little bit less activity on the server and a lot more activity on the hardcore server than normal. And that's even true with me. I'm spending probably about uh, two thirds of my time on hardcore and one third on live, although that's gonna shift to about half and half. And then, you know, it'll be one third hardcore and two thirds until I'm done with what I wanna do in hardcore. And then it'll be, you know, all back here. Uh, I, I would have, I when I started the series, I thought I would have enough time to finish it before hardcore, but, they're getting to where hardcore is almost like an ongoing event now all year round uh, and, and uh, I was not going to participate but then some guildies wanted to participate and I thought it'd be fun to run with them so I decided to go ahead and do that 
Um, all right, so nothing in the way of gloves. Let's take a look at goggles. So we currently have intelligence, necromancy focus. So all that's really giving me is search and disable. Um, so if I look at some other things that are there, disable deadly, that basically that would be just the deadly, metamorphic deadly. Again, that's just the deadly. Uh, but I'm inclined to to want to get that. That's actually not a bad item for the price. Uh, let's see, nothing that I see that looks better. I'm not really looking for slots at this point because I don't really have any way to use them. Uh, Transmutation uh, focus is, is useless, but this is only giving me plus two, and I could always just swap this on. And what's my other item? I think it's an open lock item. Yeah, seven. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. That's that's an upgrade. That's plus two to my deadly, so that's plus two to da every damage when I hit. I also like this, open lock 11 and insightful search five, right? So... Um, I mean, that, that's another thing. In fact, when I'm searching, I probably swap to this. And when I'm disabling, I swap to the intelligence. You know, I, I don't like to have too many swap items. That was one of the nice things slavers did is reduce my inventory. But um, certainly want to make sure I could find the trap. And there's been a few cases where I haven't. So I'm going to get both of those. We have plenty of cash now, 139000 uh, and you know, so to buy an item for ten or 15000 is no big deal now. So I've got some upgrades to my goggle goggles didn't find anything to gloves uh, I'll take one more look at gloves and maybe go down to eight and I'll take a look at 13 because um, if we find a good I, I'll go all the way up to 14 if we see a good item at higher levels we might just want to grab it what is bashing shield bashing so yeah even even uh, these level eights is worse than what we have strength five deadly three so really nothing nothing in the next few levels you know we'll just keep checking back every so often and, and we'll get lucky i've checked several times and didn't find any gloves i was surprised to find two goggles that were actually better so i'm happy about that uh cloak um i've been using this just because we don't really have any poison protection and that champion dot you've seen you know if you've seen any of the videos i've taken somewhere in the neighborhood of um, 15 to 30 a tick from poison damage from champions and you know that's after this 22 reduction so I really really like this cloak uh, as my main cloak but if I find something really good like here's something really good uh, it's level 14 though let me drop it down to level 12 because that's why it looks so good it's two levels over what I can use um so you know, you know fire absorb is interesting but we don't really have any big fire quests coming up that i'm thinking of and um again i sort of, i'm sort of interested in in uh this is interesting because spell save stacks with with um is supposed to stack with regular saves although it's it says it's typed the same sturdy what is sturdy balance more spell saves. Uh, dodge and false life is pretty interesting. Um, let's see what we have for dodge. I don't know if we have a dodge item actually. Yeah, so the false life is a bonus item and spell saves plus three, you know, it, it's supposed to stack, it may not. But I'm liking that. I'm just going to grab that in case I decide I want to use that. It's cheap enough. Uh, wisdom 5, Dodge 5, and Sightful Physical Sheltering. That's not bad. Um, I think I like the other one better. I think Dodge 5% is better than... Or the... Uh, well, that's a pretty nice item, and it helps my spot. But 55000 That's a, that's starting to be a little more in my price range. This would be an awesome item. Uh, except uh, 250 we can't even afford it. But yeah, I'd probably, if, if I could get that cheaper, would think about getting that. So if we look at our random items, that's it. Uh, I don't, I really like my Marsh Walker. Um, 
Although I'll have to step in a quest. Let me just real quick step into a quest and see what happens when I take the ring on and off. Um, I want to see there's an update today and it feels like maybe I'm going a little bit faster but I don't know if it actually got in today's update or not. Uh, I'm just going to go in on normal. Uh, you know, L Linabelle, the developer, read my the post where I mentioned he did work and to show you his very responsive, he uh, immediately, you took, tower, immediately uh, posted to that it was going to get fixed. So I'll take this off. Let me go to the combat section and let me throw this on. And it should tell me what that does. You have multiple resistance. It doesn't say. Oh, here it is. So enhancement modifier to movement speed 24%. So that hasn't been fixed yet, but um, still I've, I'm liking that bonus speed. 24% uh, not having to have the swap items is, is huge. So I'm going to noodle around on the um, cloaks. I, already, I, I'm, I have it currently set up so that I have exactly two tabs of this Carnifax I need to put in my bank. Uh, I'm really excited about this weapon for next life. So I'm going to noodle around and figure out I might take some of my old cloaks and put them in the bank or put them in my other account bank characters. Uh, but I, I really am trying to keep to just two tabs of gear and then two tabs open for looting. All right, so on the uh, horizon for this level is going to be level uh, eight quests on Reaper or Elite. And if there's, there might be a few that are done in Elite. And then level nine quests on Normal and Hard. And then I'm debating whether I want to try to accelerate the normal hard Ravenloft uh, you know as it's possible I might get some gear I might be able to get a, a better bow than I have my bow is a little weak and I could make a uh, when I have to go ranged at least I have a bow that would be you know match this Barovian or or possibly be the other night mother t or the other type which is uh, evil and, and something else but um, it's equally good it just has some different abilities on it but I probably want to get another Barovian bow in to replace this, which is... Oh, that's what I should look at. I've got a really old bow. Although that's not bad. Acidic 2, Keen, Keen level 6 is not much worse than I'll probably find at this level. So let me see what I can find for bows. Long bow. So yeah, I'm still seeing a lot of the twos. I'm not seeing threes. Well, that's interesting. Um, holy and not silver though. Hmm. So the silver, the silver longbow is holy and not silver. But the thing that's interesting about this bow is if you look at the critical profile, uh, it's 18 to 20 times three. It's not a super rare drop, but at 15,000, it's probably better than what I have because of the the, the damage. The crit damage, 18 to 20 versus mine is uh, 19 to 20 times 3 because of the keen. So it's not that much worse. Um, it's only one better. Yeah, so probably not. Uh, although we have improved critical. Yeah, we don't don't have improved critical range, though. So it's not going to stack with that. So this is 2 to 12 points of evil care. Yeah, hmm, 2 to 12 points of... Nope, only evil characters, so that's less effective, probably. Interesting item, though. Um, so, so I'm not seeing anything here that looks better than what we have, except for maybe this silver longbow. It's bound to character and equip, so it's another storage nightmare if I take it. And we're almost past this level, so I'd rather pass on this and probably, uh, uh, you know, probably uh, live with what we have because it's. I just don't think this is necessarily better. I mean, it might be a little bit better, but it's not much better than what we have with this weapon, which is level 6 and unbound. So I'm going to probably pass. Let me check short bows. I mean, I could also check crossbows because we're proficient in light crossbows. Uh, Holy 3. Now, that's probably better, but again, I think that only does... Let's see. Okay, so this one does 3d6. This is a little bit different than the other bow. It does 3d6 damage, whole good damage. So that's going to even impact good characters, I believe, or good enemies. 
Uh, there's not many of those, but um, uh, it should impact them or neutral, like animals, for example. Um, I'll have to test that, test that out if I get this. And then Giant Bane. So potentially it's a better weapon against trolls, right? We've seen a lot of those. They're hit pretty hard. So uh, I, I'm liking that, actually. So I'm going to grab this bow and I'll probably put offload the other one. And I'll, you know, I, I've been saving arrows, so I really don't want to switch to a crossbow because I'll have to build up. You know, I've got, I've got it to where my quiver is all arrows now. And it's, it's, uh, it kind of cycles through, you know, like we're not getting plus ones in loot anymore because we're too high a level. So those just, when those ran out, you know, just filled with whatever the next arrow that we get is. So I just like the way that's working. But I'll take a look, I mean, under simple weapons, if I take a look at uh, light crossbow and heavy crossbow. Um, flame touch, that makes it good. Chilling two, double shot two, not too interesting. I mean, it would have to be a really, really good weapon to switch. Again, not interesting. And nothing. So I think I will get that, replace that other bow. It's uh, doing a little more damage. It doesn't have quite the crit profile, but... Um, there's also a lot of giants, trolls, giants, uh, and other things that were, you know, I've, especially trolls and ogres that I've been hitting from range. So that might be interesting. Uh, let's check augments. I'm going to go check all the way from 4 to 12 for augments. Uh, 1 is a tough level because you have all these filigree in there. Only 1. Wow, last time there was like 2 pages. Uh, we actually found some pretty good ones. But uh, just nullification, nothing too interesting there. And I'll check wands, although I don't think we need any more wands of resist energy. I mean, there's a cheap one. Uh, I have a couple in the bank. I've got a 20. Wanda blur, I don't think I have a 0% chance to activate. Yeah, so don't really need that. Yeah, so uh, real expensive Wands of Resist Energy. This is about what I'd expect to pay for Wand of Resist Energy. 2500 and they're not rare, and they're, you know, uh, most people just dump them to a vendor. Uh, but, you know, there's always going to be people that might try to put them on there for a lot like this one and hope that somebody is desperate and needs it. You know, like they're going to run uh, uh, the quest like we ran last level, or this level with, with, you know, the fire, all the fire elementals and fire methods you know, where you want that 30. So I think we've covered just about everything. I guess I'll, I'll take a look at swords and and I'll take a look at quarter staves, although not much I really would want. Although if I take a blue shine, if I get a blue shine quarter staff, I'll probably take it uh, again. Nothing too interesting there. Smoldering three, that's and impact so that's not a bad quarter staff what do we have for quarter staffs we have this anarchic and we have this so this this is actually an interesting quarter or interesting quarter staff but i just don't know when we would actually use it because there's not many cases where you know i mean the advantage of using our heavier damage crossbow even with damage reduction is better this is funny that people are selling this for 150,000. um it's never been good if you look at it for level eight item it's really not a good item I, I I'm shocked that someone thinks they can get 150,000 for it you get this for just completing a quest a level 9 quest that we're gonna run run this level three times so we'll get three of these and probably just vendor them um, all right let's check great swords I stuck my other great sword in the bank because I have a couple of backup weapons already um, and I was running into inventory issues and yeah, you know, we never had the problem of our so this we can't use true chaos because we're lawful, so we're not allowed to use true chaos weapons. Um, you know, just some standard random loot items, nothing really great. This is a really bad weapon here, flaming. I guess I'm I don't have it filtered very well. And I guess we could start looking for thieves tools and uh, plus fives we're using plus fours right now um, those would just be one so a hundred for thirteen thousand I, I don't think so I'd rather save that for gear we have plus four and and uh, well we have 
at times had issues with disable since we've switched to let's see what the bonus is in this I assume plus seven yeah plus seven so since we switched to uh, the slavers gear we haven't really had problems with disabling traps we've had problems with um, spot a few times but we haven't really had problems with disable so I I'm inclined to just not worry about it um, all right what's the other male I guess what I get the bow all right so for every item I'm just gonna line them up here for every item I take I need to I want to uh, take one something out of my inventory so this one's easy if I'm gonna put this bow higher level bow in I'm gonna take this lower level one out uh, I don't think we need the fire shield I'm gonna keep it just in case and speed 17 I'm gonna put this here I got this last level and I really sort of liked it 6% attack speed bonus and cold absorption 19 versus dodge false life and spell saves I, I'm gonna say we're gonna put this one in the bank keep it because it's pretty good and then the poison I'm still gonna keep as a swap item uh, so now we just need two more items that we need to get rid of let me take a look at goggles um, this is open lock we, we need that I think I can get rid of raised dead because I think I'm good enough in my 85% here 95% now on that is good enough um, I mean basically if I just swap to this temporarily I'm at a hundred Nope, still at 95. I must be getting a good luck bonus from something else. Oh, you know what? It's not UMD based. It's based on my level. So next level it'll be 100%. So, but 95% is good. And I, I really, so I'm going to get rid of uh, Raised Dead to make room for that item. And I really like, especially since we're depending on Death Block here, I really like having this backup item. We haven't really got our armor down too low. Uh, I'm really not using Voice of the Master much, um, and I've got this cloak. So we have True Seeing from this item, so I don't need both of these. Um, hmm. I'm going to say probably put the trinket in the bank and keep this as a swap item for uh, when I want XP, but also when I want that spell absorb. So, uh, you know, when I face the red name Beholder in, like, I don't think Spell Absorber always works, but I'll probably just swap it on just in case it might help uh, in Jungle of Kyber, the guy that killed me when I forgot my death block. Um, all right, so I keep, I'm keeping one of these on just in case I ever swap rings and I need the speed boost, and that probably makes sense. Um, I probably want to keep this. Let's see if these are rings. You know, we've never used these Cold Absorb. Um, ring, but we also have cold absorb on a cloak, so we certainly don't need it here. So I'm going to swap this out. So now I've, I'm swapping five items out and four in. I feel pretty good about that. This is going to go in the bank. And I did get 20 more spaces of House Kandarik favor from our level 7 questing, so I've got plenty of space in the bank now. Let's see if we want this. Intelligence plus 5, Acid Absorb 16. You know, I guess having an Acid or Absorb item is not bad, and then you know, having the intelligence plus five is not bad. Uh, but if I do that, then I think we can get rid of these goggles. Because I could use this to swap. And um, plus I've got an insightful search on goggles. So it would be better to swap these two items in. All right. So now I've got rid of six items. And so let's just put them here up on top. This was going to separate to go in the bank, but we've got, all right, so those seven items on the top are going to go in the bank, and we're going to keep, oh, we don't need cold absorb. So yes, these seven items. So six plus this uh, awesome card effects we're going to have for next life. So let's see. So let's put the deadly on as our main goggles. And let's see what we got here. We don't need these anymore. The 
we do need open lock and let's see I've got this in my buff so for the buff I should take this out and put these in and that's just for first time buffing and then I've got my goggles here open lock and then we have the insightful search goggles just in case so let's move these back and where's my other pair of Visors. All right, I just want to make sure. Okay, if I put these on, I want to make sure that I didn't have them both, you know, that they were different ones I was using. All right, so we've got that, and now we're just going to put this bow here to replace this. And this is going to be. Kind of tough. I really like that poison cloak, um, but I think I'm going to try this out. And uh, let's see, this is the poison, so that's going to be this is this which is going to the bank, and this is the intelligence. So I'm going to put this cloak here as our main cloak now, try it out, and then we'll put. the mantle of the world shaper for the spell absorb and the five percent the regeneration is pretty weak even at this level uh, and then all this is going to go on the bank so we have uh let's see this is going to go here this is a swap item so we still have two sp we have two spaces open so we've actually reduced our inventory by two uh all right so I'm going to throw this in the bank. I, my bank's a little bit... Uh, I've got some marginal stuff in there because I have room. I'm going to throw this... Some of this I'm going to... Some of the things in here need to get transferred over, like this weapon, to my banking characters. I just haven't had a chance to do that yet, including like this bow, these, these two items. The things that aren't bound are all going to get transferred over. Uh, these I might just end up deleting because, well, 15,000 plat down the drain, but... If I get run out of space, you know, the space is probably more important to me. Um, and uh, so I'm going to post the level 12 update uh, to the forums. And then I am going to put two other posts in there. The first is on sort of a detail of, of my banking characters and other accounts and the approach I'm taking in case that might be helpful to anybody. And then secondly, a discussion on Reaper. Because level seven was sort of the the level where, uh, you know, the Reaper pain started to feel a little worse, you know, in, in the sense that, uh, you know, there's more close calls, the hits were bigger, Famine Reaper started doing Cyclonic Blast, which is which is there's no save to. I think we saw a 200 is our highest number there. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, we have 300 hit points or so, so that's we're getting close to 300, I should say. So it's not too bad, but. Um, I know for a fact we can get one shot by Cyclonic Blast, you know, uh, if the wrong scenario happens. We can get one shot by Disintegrate. There's just a lot of things that could kill us. Uh, and so, um, you know, the, the most important rule of this game is to always have fun and always enjoy what you're doing. So, uh, while I'm going to continue on the Reaper path, probably on Reaper uh, 1 or 2, I'm going to probably try 2 and see how it goes this level because we did I did gain a lot of power and so I'm hoping that that might uh, give me an advantage in Reaper 2 compared to last level where uh, I did some Reaper 2's but it really felt rough and I almost failed the quest on Reaper 2 and Reaper 1 felt a lot easier when I went dialed it down to Reaper 1 so I'm definitely gonna run Reaper this level um, I'm, not, I'm probably gonna run Reaper 2 with the extra power just to test it out uh, but if it feels rough again I'll just dial it down to Reaper 1 uh, there's, you know, this game is a, I think of it more as a marathon than a race. And so um, if we get a one or two Reaper points less this life because we are doing Reaper 1, it's really not a big deal. Uh, we want to, you know, we want to do the highest Reaper we can do that doesn't take our fun away from the game, that doesn't, you know, make it less enjoyable. So uh, right now for me, Reaper 1 instead of Reaper 2 is, is, is that. And, uh, you know, and my rule of thumb on Reaper is that if you join a group 
add the number of players to the Reaper you solo, and that's probably the Reaper that feels comfortable for you. So if we were in a group, we'd feel pretty comfortable in Reaper 6 right now. We'd probably get one shot a little more, but the group is also going to be taking down these enemies a lot faster. So those opportunities for the enemies to one-shot us are going to be a lot smaller. So we would be probably running in Reaper 6 in a group right now, and that's pretty good for a first life, life character. Reaper 1, Reaper 2 soloing is is pretty good for a first life character. I think it's, it's um, especially with all the limitations of free-to-play, I think the characters are really doing well. Uh, uh, and uh, coming up soon, we'll have the opportunity to... Uh, let's see, let me go to my adventure log. We're going to really have the opportunity soon to, uh, I guess about 61 favor, make the decision, do we want to, do we want to re respect to 32 point build to get a few extra build points and rethink some of our feats, um, you know, I'm pretty happy with all of them right now, but magical training is sort of, I'll say on the bubble because we have, it's giving us, uh, I believe 80, and we, so we'd have 250 without it, 330 with it. I sort of like keeping it, but I might consider taking it out for uh, Dragon Mark of Passage to give us Dimension Door, um, and then trying to augment, you know, through gear, try to get more spell points that way. Uh, so I haven't decided yet, and that, that makes me want to kind of hold on to this Lesser Heart of Wood. On the other hand, I just sort of want to get it out of my inventory because I, you know, I'm going to have inventory challenges. Um, but it's one of those things where if I get rid of it, you know, it's easy to regret because these things are super, super rare. You, you may never see these drop in the game the whole time you play. You know, you might see one or two if you get lucky, but the chances are probably pretty great that you'll see zero. So keeping this forever is a pretty viable solution, and, and in fact, I'd say. If you use it, you'll probably re regret it. So I might keep it just for that reason. Um, you know, things happen such as changes to the game. Uh, you know, they add new feats, you know, or things. And, you know, you might want to respect your character because of some big changes to the game without having to do a, a full restart. And so that's the time you, you'd want to use that lesser heart of wood. Uh, it is bound to character, so it means permanent storage. And... Um, if I was a, you know, if I was to counsel myself when I was a newer player, I would say keep it. Do not, do not use it, uh, because it's such a rare item, and we'll probably never get another one again, uh, unless we buy it through the store. So on the other hand, if if you are pretty confident you're going to be buying points because you love this game, or you know you have extra discretionary income, and so you're, you, you know, you're planning on buying some points. I, you know, there's really no harm in using it because you could always buy these back for, I think it's around seven or 800 DDO points. You can get them on sale for around 500. So it's not, it's not a, if you have available points, it's not a big deal. In my case, I have a lot of things I have to buy uh, in terms of uh, two expansions, a lot of classes and, uh, and races and iconics and bank space. So I don't see being able to purchase a lesser heart with DDO points for quite some time. So I'm going to probably, you know, I'm, I'm sort of on the fence, but, um, you know, the reason I might use it is because I have a little more, you know, since I've been playing the game for a little bit longer, I might feel comfortable using it in that I would never have such a bad problem that I need a full respec, you know, that I, I could probably just make some feet changes or something like that. And, and uh, feet changes cost a lot of platinum, and they basically require some dragon shards which we've already accumulated and then we have these in the bank quite a few that can be used to kind of upgrade uh, upgrade if we don't, if we need more but I've, I've had so many drop in the game that I'm just not really too worried about a, a, a feat respec at this point all right so uh, babbled on a little bit there on, on that topic but that's it for the uh, level 11 summary and up sort of uh, level up to level 12 uh, and that's going to conclude this video